On April the 30th, 1864, tragedy would strike the White House of the Confederacy when Joseph Evan Davis would fall off of the porch to his death. Born on April the 18th, 1859, he was the fourth child of Jefferson and Verena Davis and apparently was something of a favorite. Mrs. Davis called him the most beautiful and brightest of my children and she also said that President Davis considered him his greatest hope and greatest joy. At the time of the fall, Jefferson and Verena Davis were both at his office on Bank Street. He was there working, and Mrs. Davis, as had become their custom, had taken him lunch. Accounts vary as to how the accident actually occurred. We do know that he got away from his nanny, got down the children and servants stairway in the White House of the Confederacy, making his way onto the porch. We don't know exactly where he fell from on that porch, but somehow or another he did get over the railing and fell what was at that time about 15 feet to the brick courtyard below. Joseph was found almost immediately after the fall. A servant was sent to find the president and Mrs. Davis and he found them at Davis's office. By that time, Joseph had been moved up into the nursery. When Jefferson and Verena Davis arrived, he was unresponsive, but they were by his side when he died about an hour after the fall. The wife of Burton Harrison, Jefferson Davis's private secretary, would write of the passionate grief of Mrs. Davis that evening and of President Davis himself locking himself in his room and pacing the floor all night long. Mary Chestnut would write in her diary, Poor little Joe, the good child of the family, so gentle and affectionate. He used to run in to say his prayers at his father's knee. Before I left the house, I saw him lying there, white and beautiful as an angel, covered with flowers. The funeral services for Joseph Evan Davis occurred on Sunday, May 1st, 1864. Services were held at St. Paul's Episcopal Church, where the family worshiped together, and the burial services took place in Hollywood Cemetery here in Richmond, Virginia. Burton Harrison's wife further wrote that it seemed that every child in Richmond had brought flowers and leaves. And we have one of those leaves in our collection here at the museum. In her later years, Mrs. Davis made her wishes known that the entire family be buried in Hollywood Cemetery where Joseph was. This meant that Jefferson Davis himself had to be moved from New Orleans and Jefferson Davis Jr. from Memphis, Tennessee. But the entire family today is buried here in Richmond, Virginia at the Hollywood Cemetery.